2021. This program is organized by students from Computer Science, Information Security and Assurance, Faculty of Science and Technology, USTEM. My name is Alina Suha Bertizukarni, and on behalf of Auto Creative 2021 committees, I would like to welcome all of you to this Hackathon Workshop. It is our privilege to have you with us today. We hope you will find this program that we have lined up for you to be fruitful and engaging. Before we begin, I would like to invite Muhammad Sa'id bin Halilur Rahman to lead the recitation of Dua. With all due respect, please welcome. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Al-Fatiha. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا شاكرين حمدا نائمين حمدا يوافي نعمه ويكافي مزيده يا ربنا لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك الكريم وعظيم سلطانك اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مرخوما وتفرقنا من بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل اللهم فينا ولا معنا ولا من يتبعنا شكيا ولا مترودا ولا محروما يا الله يا رحيم on this blessed morning we seek your blessing for a flawless progress of this programming and security competition at the creative 2021 from the beginning till the end bless us with your tawfiq and hidayah guide us and university sign Islam Malaysia to greatness, peace, and prosperity in this world and hereafter. Grant us with a valuable knowledge that will be beneficial to mankind in order to gain your mardotillah. Make us a responsible intellectual who will be devoted to our religion, race, and beloved country. Bless our efforts, instill insightful thoughts in our hearts, and provide us with an abundance of valuable wisdom and genuine knowledge. Rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna minal khasirin. Rabbana aftah baynana wa bayna qawmina bilhaqq wa anta khairul fatihin. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasanata wa kina azab al-nar. Wa sallillahum ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Amin, amin, ya Rabbana Amin. Dear all participants, let me first introduce you to the agenda of this Hakata Workshop. For today's program, we will be having two slots which will be presented by two speakers. For the first slot, our first speaker will give explanation about the Hakata competition overview and describe its rubrics or condition. For the next slot, our speaker Second speaker will share his experience and knowledge of hackathon competition in both inside and outside of the user campus. Ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to brief a short info about hackathon competition. For hackathon competition, we will be focusing on three themes, which are cyberbullying issues, work from home cyber risk, and authenticity of COVID-19 information. Our first speaker will explain further terms of the competition after this. I'm sure this is going to be a great interaction and learning for all of us. Attention to our participants. You are allowed to, uh, to ask questions on the pilot link that has been provided in the team chat throughout the workshop. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I would like to introduce our first speaker for slot one of this Hakata workshop, Associate Professor Dr. Sakina Ali Piche, Deputy Dean of Students Affairs and Alumni in the Faculty of Science and Technology USIM. For the information of all participants, Associate Professor Dr. Sakina Ali Piche 
has been honored with numerous grand awards and recognition, which are first place winner in Promcom competition, gold and silver medalist in ITEC competition, silver medalist in, in IIC competition, MEX competition, INOVA competition, that had Innovation Championship and Bronze Medalist in Pencipta Competition. So the Sakina will explain about Hackathon Overview and describe the rubrics or the condition of the Hackathon Competition. With all due respect, please welcome Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, okay, hold on. Okay. Can you guys see? Uh, right. I'm not so sure whether the text at the back is, is it a mirror text? Okay. It's okay. Right. It's okay, doctor. Only maybe because uh, I see it as like a mirror. So I <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. It's okay now. All right, thank you. Um, first of all, I would like to welcome um, all the participants and would like to congratulate uh, all the Ato Creative uh, Committee and also the advisor, Associate Professor Dr. Muhammad Farid. Uh, though we are in the COVID-19, the pandemic, I think this is our second year like facing this um, online. So I hope everyone, uh, I know it's very hard. Uh, and sometimes some of you are already struggling with all these um, online uh, distance learning. So I hope you can give uh, full co cooperation until the end of the event. And so we actually we start earlier. So we're supposed to start at 9.30, but never mind. We still have like a few minutes. And I hope I'm looking forward, especially the first year. For those who haven't joined, please uh, remind and inform your friends. So this is the platform you can get information. So what is Hackathon? Okay, otherwise, you will be like clueless when every time there is an announcement on the competition, you didn't know what is it. And you will wondering. So this is like a platform for you to, to, let, to get uh, familiar. And please uh, remind your friends again, I'm, I know it's very nice today weather because this is weekend and probably some of you already uh, actually um, log in the teams probably is from the bed, right? Because you are at home. So whatever condition you are, please uh, take care. So I'm sharing my slides first. Okay, can everyone see my slide? Yes, doctor. Okay. Yes. Have you turned on the, I mean, the, the record button, at least for those who haven't uh, have the time to. Yes, doctor, we have yes, already yes. started so, recording. All right. Later on, you can um, upload, uh, I mean, download this video and upload in the ISA YouTube account, right? Okay. So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, this is my slide. Um, I saw the tentative just now. Uh, is about the the rubrics, right? Okay. Um, not only the rubrics that I'm going to highlight today, but the focus here: how to win a hackathon pitch, and what is hackathon, and how to form a team. So, uh, I think everyone already know me. Okay, I'm not going to introduce myself. For those who have the LinkedIn account. So you can also follow me and find out me at the LinkedIn. Just type Sakina Ali Vijay and yeah, then you can find me. Okay, I also have a certificate in tester foundation level or you known as, as CTFL. So basically we have to attend training and then um, answer a few questions as them to get this uh, cert. Okay. okay uh, before we proceed with another slides, I would like to share about my achievements. Okay, some of these achievement with the students and some of these achievement by myself and with my research members. So my research members is actually my colleagues, the lecturer, the ISA lecturers. So the recent one is actually um, in 2020, uh, which is last year, even though it's a pandemic, but we still submit it online. We're supposed to go to the 
um, Vietnam actually, uh, sorry, I think we're supposed to go to Cambodia or Vietnam, I'm not mistaken, um, because we won the first place Procom 2019, December 2019 at MMU. Uh, it's a Japanese competition, um, international levels, and then we, we should go as a represent, representative to the Cambodia in March 2020. But unfortunately, starting March last year, all of us know that we are facing the pandemic. So we submitted online and all the, the competitions became online. Uh, so that's why we got another special prize under 11 NEPRO International Programming Contest. So this one is organized by the Japanese government. Okay, 2019, like I mentioned, so 2020 and 2019 is actually a code there is a correlation okay, between these two. We enhance our innovation project. And you, as you can see on the left side is actually the fourth year students. Uh, they are actually currently doing their internship. Okay, And these are my innovation members. So when you want to be active in innovation members, I suggest or recommend you find a good mentor. Okay, if you cannot find any good mentor, you can come uh, forward to me, that's me. Okay, uh, doctor, I don't have any groups. I, I would like to join this and this. And I, I will try to find students that I think have a potential and then team up um, some of you. Okay, even for these actually members. So I team up them. So for two or three years, I already coaching them. So we have one like um, probably four innovations with these group team members. Okay, so find a good mentor is very important. Okay, don't just keep quiet because I didn't know what do you want. So you have to tell me. Okay, in 2019, we won silver award. Also the uh, TravMed. So what is actually TravMed? TravMed is travel, uh, medication, uh, travel medicine cloud. So the cloud terms here is actually the internet. When you have the internet, you can access it. Okay, all my innovations products, actually I like to use an, a very small abbreviation term because it's easy for people to remember. So um, this is actually starting, even though it's just my achievement. So we already started with the idea on the title itself. Okay, when you want to propose something, you must have a catchy title. Okay, something that people can uh, remember. Don't put a very long title unless because it is not hackathon, then it is OK. Okay, uh, like 2019 is it's not hackathon. Not all these achievements is a hackathon. Okay, uh, I will explain after this what is hackathon. Some of these are actually innovation competition. So for example, 2019, um, another product innovations with my FYP students. Okay, all my FYP students, uh, sometimes I will encourage them to publish early, um, to implement it early so that we can join any innovation uh, product competition. We call it as MOBAS, Mobile Barcode Scanner Basis Attendance System for Education 4.0. And in 2019, uh, we won bronze award, uh, you sell 2019 as well, Bluetooth Smart Base Attendance System. Okay, for your information, even this year, we they have also conduct IU, uh, you sell 2021 online. Okay, if your supervisor or you are interested to join it, you have to get uh, approval with your supervisor because uh, it involves money for another other competition. So that's why it's very important for you to get a very good mentor to polish you. Okay, and then 2019 is another bronze award. Um, this one is actually conducted in Kuching, Sarawak at that time. So we fly to Sarawak. And then 2018 silver medal in I Innova to 2018. So even 2000, uh, 2018 is also with my uh, FI, ex FIP students. Okay, Jawi Kepcha, based security system for login authentication. Okay, then 2018, uh, we got bronze medal in in a series DMUSE music uh, mode applications. This one is a collaboration with my uh, colleagues in Unimas. Okay, and then um, 2017 gold medal I yourself. So this one is very uh, big um, award in 2017. You can see on the left side bottom uh, with the ministry. Okay, um, and this is is actually being used in USIP IPPS for the postgraduate system. Okay, uh, what we did, we actually identify all the user requirements, um, all the users related. Okay, uh, 2017 bronze medal are you sell, e mentor. Okay, 
2016 silver medal ITEX. The ITEX is, very, uh, is an international level competition. Uh, it's very expensive, you, so you really need to find a very good product and find a good mentor. Okay. Um, then 2018 silver medal, this, is, this one also with F FYP students. And then 2016 silver medal um, IAMS. Okay, this one is also in my FYP students and he also won the best presenter award in 2016. Okay, he completed his FYP earlier during FYP 1, okay, not during FYP 2, but in FYP 1. He even faces difficulties, crash his laptop, but he managed to recover it. Okay, so if you feel down sometimes during your process in learning, your laptop is crashing or your data is lost, it's normal. It's a journey for a computer science student. If you don't face it, that means you're not struggling. You don't really do it. You don't really study. Okay. And then that's fine. Um, it's a journey. Just uh, learn how to adapt. Okay. Down. Yeah, sometimes people will be feel down because of this issue, but just take a few days, take a break, and then continue again. Okay. And then 2015 bronze medal, 2014 gold medals. Um, 2014, uh, I won another two more awards. Actually, last year also I got another awards from Rusim. Okay, um, there are other awards, but not be mentioned here because this one only involved with the innovations. And on the left side, you can see that hack. Um, we got the innovation products uh, that we won. Uh, we got 1,500. Even last year, uh, sorry, 2019, we won the first place of Procom. We got. 2500 okay so because i was the, the 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 mentor and also giving the idea mentor is very important sometimes you think mentor didn't do anything but mentor is actually coaching you giving the idea but you have to present it sometimes the competition have restricted if only for the students okay it depends uh depends to the competitions if the competitions allow the mentor to join as a participant and then you can uh, name them as well Okay, what is hackathon finally? Okay, when people talk about hackathon, you might think about hacking. Okay, hacking is something a uh, little bit different, but hacking is actually a creative problem solving. Okay, but hacking does not involve to technology. Okay, okay, how you want to do the hack hackathon? Okay, first you need to find a team up. So you need to find a member. Okay, how many members per group? It actually depends on the competition. So you have to check the rules. How many? Maximum usually sometimes to five and sometimes three. It depends to the rules of competitions. And then you need to do brainstorm a lot. And then hack, uh, prepare the pitch. Okay, pitching is very important. Okay, you have to convince people. You have to convince judges how unique is your product and then pre uh, present it. Usually hosted by a technology company or organizations. Okay, why this technology company organize this? Because they want to get your ideas. Okay, sometimes you have to read the rules. Okay, once you want, the idea will become their, uh, their copyright sometimes. So you need to get read all the rules. What happened? So if you want to go for the innovation products, not hackathon, you need to do the copyright license. Okay, the copyright pattern. So when you want, people cannot actually copy your idea because you have this copyright. But if you don't have the copyright idea, and then it's a little bit uh, hard for innovation competition. But for hackathon, it's different. You don't need to have the copyright or pattern. Okay? Um, because they are going to provide you. Sometimes they will help you by giving some uh, GitHub or whatever platform, AWS database or any kind of platform or database that for free, for example, for that hackathon only because they have a specific team that you need to follow. Okay, due to pandemic of COVID-19, many hackathon events turned into online mentoring and competitions. So if you join the TFF, uh, any one of you join the TFF um, hackathon? Uh, year two, year three, I'm not so sure whether we have a year three or not, but TFF is another online competition of hackathon and not only open to computer science students, okay? There are lots. Okay, goals and fields. So what is the goal of Hackathon? To solve challenges over the course of the event and create a fully functional use, usable software 
or hardware product by the end of the event. So do you always think that Hackathon is only focusing for the end product? It depends to the competition rules. For auto creative level, you're only pitching the product, the idea. You don't need to develop. Okay. Um, what is the field or team? It could be the education technology. It could be the fintech. So fintech is actually the financial technology. Uh, it could be the cyberbullying, cybersecurity, consumer technology, environment technology. Oh, sorry, the fintech is uh, double. Health tech, health technology, and auto technology. Okay. So the main ingredients in hackathon. So the main ingredients here is actually the problem statements. Okay. If you do the FYP later on, when you are in the third year, problem statements is very important. Okay, what is the problem that you want to solve? Don't just simply go to the objective first. Okay, you need to find the problem statements. How to get an idea of problem statements? You need to study a lot, read a lot, read the articles. What is the issue right now? And how you want to find the issue? It based on the theme given. If the theme is on the educational technology, so find problems in educational technology. What is the problem? Okay, you need to know what is the theme given. And then you propose the solution after you study all the problems. And what is the lack? What is the, the strength? Okay. And then you must include the references. Because sometimes you only you have the problems, but you don't have the references. Okay, don't just simply create another new problems without any references. Okay, hackathon is more about learning than winning. So please bear in mind if you want to win, you have to learn first. So don't expect simply that you just you just um, enter any competition because you just want to win. Yes, of course everyone wants to win, but uh, take it as a learning process. Okay. So Auto Creative 21, so this is first time is actually we are conducting the hackathon workshop. First time we are doing the hackathon competition. Before this, we are conducting the programming and also the CTF. Uh, CTF is another security competition. Okay, because it is now suitable with the online uh, situation. Okay, and hackathon is still being uh, conducted has been uh, still in uh, carried out by many organizations. So that's why we propose to you in R2 Creative 21 about hackathon competition. So what is the objective? Okay, provide platform for students to produce creative innovations for the problems encountered. And sometimes we have the idea. So how you get the idea from the sometimes from the computer network subject? Maybe you can get um, idea from many subjects and then you come up with the new idea. Okay, what is the theme for Artu Creative? So this is the theme that you are going to uh, target or you are going to focus. Cyberbullying issues. Okay, and work from home or WFH, the, the abbreviation cyber risk. You, when everyone is working from uh, work from home, what is the cyber risk? You can list it out. Okay, and authenticity of COVID-19 information. So come up with a theme, one group, with consists of three uh, person and then choose your team. What you can propose based on this team? What before you can propose, you need to think about the problem statements. What you want to solve? Okay, study what is the recent issues in cyberbully? Okay, you need to know all this. Okay, there are lots of seminar. Try to attend it and then you get some idea. Hackathon competitions. Uh, so this is the terms and regulations. I think everyone already got this toolkit. Maximum three people per group. Uh, groups can be consisted of any students from any faculty or programs. Doesn't mean all must be computer science students. Okay, it could be two uh, ISA and one financial maths, for example. Okay, it could be uh, one ISA with one FB, one TKI. This is also okay, but you must follow the theme. Contestants are required to solve the problem based on the team that will be decided by the groups. Every group needs to provide only one poster each. Okay, you only need to prepare one poster each. Very easy. And then uh, come up with the idea. Project presentation will be live streamed through Microsoft, Dream, uh, Microsoft Teams. Presentations in English. Presentations must be presented in five minutes and 15 minutes will be open for Q&A sessions. And bonus marks will be awarded to contestant who implements the Dunkley Ugly concept in their presentation. So this is just a bonus marks if you want it. Okay. And pitching 
presentation rubric. So the concept, okay, the relevance of participants project is related to the given. When you propose, is it relevant to the team? Okay, um, there are just now, they, we have three teams, right? Cyberbully, uh, work from home cyber risk, and also the authenticity of um, data. When we talk about the authenticity of data, nowadays we receive a lot of uh, media poster said, oh, going to be total lockdown since like two weeks ago. But, and then they will say, no, this is not the authentic, uh, authentic um, information. So how we want to prevent this? So you come up with the idea, okay? For this competition, you don't need to develop. You come up with the idea, you also come up with the prototype. How you want to develop a prototype? Okay, you can use like, for example, any tools like um, just in my interface. There are lots, um, just Google prototype tools, okay, for the software. And then number three, design idea must be applicable, attractive and unique project. Okay, uh, solution need to solve the targeted people problem rather than just explaining how good the innovative product or service is. How to form your team? It's sometimes very difficult to find teams in your own batch. Uh, you can also, but depends. Um, you must need to know everyone has a different skills. Don't just choose your friends because you like her or him. Okay, but you need to know probably this one could be the, the, the one that going to pitch. This one going to uh, find the information. Okay. Always form team with people having diverse set of skills which are required for the hackathon. Okay, how to form your team? Understand the problem. Okay, and then understand the domain expertise if required. Brainwash. Brainwash means you have to study a lot and then discuss again, again. You find the unique selling point. Imagine that you are going to present in front of the judges. You have to tell them what is unique about your proposed product. What is the, the difference? Okay. And remember, it is a team effort. Okay. Make the plan. Okay. If you always hear, if you fail to plan, you plan, you plan to fail. And then another one, don't try to accomplish everything. Always ask for help. Uh, take feedback regularly. Okay, because it's a learning process. I'm also still learning. Okay, I also still get a feedback every time when I join other competitions, I get feedback from others. So that's how I improve. I come up with another products every year. Okay, test your project regularly. Presentations also matters. Presentation is very important how, when you want to winning the project idea. Okay, how to win the hackathon page? Okay, here I'll share a few um, YouTube slides. I will share my slides also later on. How long is the pitch? Get hold of, of the rules. Know the audience. Okay, you must need to know who is the judges for the hackathon competitions. I think uh, one of them is me, Dr. Elias, um, Dr. Sundar, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and we still have a lot of slot for hackathon competitions. So I hope this is a very good platform for all the first year to join this competition. Because you are now actually learning in online distance learning. It is hard for you to join outside competitions and not everyone capable to join other competitions. So this is a platform for you to give uh, to try and it's good for your own resume as well. At least by at the end of the third year, you have some things inside your resume. You not only have a good result, you already learned something, you have attended something, you have at least probably get the top three or top five of hackathon competition. And then number two, uh, okay, sorry, number one, a regular pitch length is three minutes, okay, three minutes. But I think in Auto Creative, they said five minutes. Okay, that is quite long actually. Sometimes the competition that we want actually three minutes. So we have to do a lot of mock. Mock presentation is very important. Set the timer. Okay. And three minutes is approximately 400 words and 27 sentences. Make every second count. Okay. Do not waste your time during the pitching presentations. This is not like assignment presentations when lecturer said, okay, everyone, uh, every group will be given five minutes. And then even five minutes also, you will also still continue after six minutes and seven minutes. Okay, still, still. But this is a pitching when they said three minutes, three minutes. 
even before three minutes, the two minutes they will ring the bell to alert you. So the first bell, sometimes they will say, that means you have another one more minute left. Don't be panicked, just continue. So until the, the final three minutes, they will probably bell, uh, uh, ring the bell like another two more uh, twice. Okay? It depends how the rules. Is there a Q&A session? Of course, normally in Hackathon, there is a Q&A session. Okay, if yes, there are six tips of preparing. Okay, um, the number two will have it in the next slide. Okay, hold on. And then number three, how do I create my story? Do not open PowerPoint. Okay, um, I will encourage all of you to watch this, a very short video after this, uh, later on, page tricks, how to prepare. Okay, you can watch this later. What content should be in the page? Check the rules. The organization will specify the things that we judge you on. A good guide is problem, solution, and what is unique. Okay, unique um, implementations. In this case, you can also simply share your prototypes. That's it. That's enough. At least people get some idea. Or you draw a figure how this process can help you to solve this issue. Okay. Don't just simply present without a figure, without any diagrams. Give an illustration. People, people usually more understand when you are given, when you when you give them a figure. Okay, the steps, the process. And make sure your presentation is very nice with some emoji, with some uh, icons, so people can easily more understand. Number five, how can I grab attention? Okay, open powerfully. The first 20 seconds, buy the attention. Do not waste time and get to the point as quickly as you can. Okay, and then you can watch another video. Open like a pro. Okay, you need to uh, to have like uh, something like probably um, one sentence that is very catchy or you can come up with your own um, what we can say the captions, the catchy captions for your own product for example. Okay, and then number six, how much detail? The power of three. Why they say the power of three? Because they have three sentences. I've got a brilliant product and I want to tell you 11 things about it. How would you feel? Your brain would say, oh no. However, if you say there are many things I could tell you about this, but there are three things I want you to remember. Here is the first, you give the audience a clear signal that you have done the work to simplify the story. Okay, this one is the um, how to win a hackathon pitch. Know the rules, okay? Every competition has a different rules. So you cannot compare um, every competition will have the same rules, no. Know the audience. Who is going to be your judges? Okay, sometimes your judges not only computer science background. Your judges could be one of the sponsor. So the sponsor could be not from the computer science. So sometimes they are from the social arts. Or well, sometimes they are from the business admin because they want to sponsor you. So you must know the judges. Who is it? And why you frame your pitch? Tricks to creating a good demo. Speak deliberately and confidently. Okay, you have a very loud and speak, uh, voice and try to um, impress or convince the judges. And then test or check the audio video equipment. Okay, this one usually face to face. Practice, practice, practice. Do mock presentations many times. Okay, for during my coachings, all my innovation members, we do a lot of mock presentations. Okay, try to avoid any grammar grammar mistakes. Okay, do not panic and adapt with it. So that's why you need to practice a lot. Do a lot of mock presentations. Only three minutes. Okay, it's improve a lot of your communications. Okay, Q and A tips. This is very important. Okay, number one, write down the questions you don't want to be asked. Sometimes you wish like the judges, oh, I hope the judges will don't do not ask these questions. But you know this question is very critical. So no matter what, write down the things, the, the question that you don't want to be asked, but try to answer it. In case the judges will ask, you have the answer. It's the same thing like FIP. Oh, I hope the evaluator won't ask this. And then you just keep quiet, do not talk about this. But be careful, they might ask this. So write down all the questions that they won't, they might ask. I mean, the one that you don't like, but try to answer earlier. Discuss the answer earlier. Practice it. 
Number two, answer witnesses as learning possibilities. Number three, write down the questions you do you do want to be asked. Okay, this one number three is different with number one. Okay, you list out all the questions that you want to be asked. But usually that, that you want to be asked, not always been asked. Okay, the one that you don't you don't want to be asked will be asked. It's usually like that. Okay, number four, listen to the last word. Last, I think this should be word, not word. Listen to the last word of the question. Okay, number five, take a moment before you answer. Take a deep breath, think, but don't take too long. And then try to answer no matter what. Don't just keep quiet, I don't know. So you not, whoever is going to be the, the presenter, that is going to pitch this one. Okay, you must answer. Try to answer it, no matter what. And the number six, never argue with the judges. Okay, even though sometimes you think the judges might say something is not nice or whatever, never argue. Okay, it might impact your result. Okay, I give you. Uh, sorry, there's a typo. <laughs> Suppose the spelling is examples. I will. Um, Improve it later. Examples of cool hackathon ideas. I give you some ideas. For example, in educational tech hackathon ideas, okay, share learning experiences, risk classroom behavior issues in real time. So, what is the issues when you are doing now the facing online distance learning? So you list out and how you want to improve it. And then number three, cost and university finder. So this one with the mobile apps, smart tutor. You can also um, develop it with the Mobile apps, what are the features? The features must be different. If you talk about the smart tutor, I think we have a lot of apps uh, for smart tutor. But you need to study what is the lag in the existing works. If you don't study the lag and then you are proposing something and then the judges will say, oh, we already have this. Why you want to propose the same thing? So that's why you need to study a lot. OK, must study related existing works. And then you can you can encounter back when they said uh, why you want to propose this and that okay uh, and then applications that aid the college students okay another examples of cool hackathons idea okay this is also typo spelling for the examples because I copy paste the the text sorry for the mistake help tech hackathon ideas okay data processing for hospitals um, now we are utilizing the AI the machine learning. Okay, the IoT. So when we talk about IoT, it's actually embedded. Um, communicate with the software. That is IoT. Okay, Internet of Things. Okay, and then visual health assistance because it's now it's pandemic. Okay, there are lots of visual health assistance that must be developed. Okay, remote patient examination, health technology in rural areas. How you want to help people in the other village that has very poor communication? You need to think about this. Then GPS monitoring for ambulance, improved medical and emergency communications. There's another examples of cool hackathon ideas, consumer tech hackathon ideas. Okay. Uh, sorry, bit. doctor. Sorry. Uh, do you uh, share the slide now? Right now? Yes. Because I think I will see the slide. We are. Uh, uh, probably, I don't know why it's missing. Dalam mengkritik lah. Oh tak. Um, dalam dua minit sebentar kau, seminit lebih je. Tak lama pun. Okay, probably maybe tak tahu lah tertekan apa kah. Ah, uh, kita tak buat. Thank you doctor. Okay, thank you for raising up. Ah, uh, I also fixing the typo here. Okay, there are so many typos here. Another one as well. Sorry. Just now we stop. I think until consumer, consumer tech. So can you see this slide? Yes, doctor. Okay, thank you. Okay, examples for the consumer tech. You can see the automate homes and office. Okay, yeah. So from your phone nowadays. Okay, before you reach home, you can set um turn on the lights or whatever. Uh, turns on the gate. Okay, autonomous drones. Okay, we have this truly predictive keyboard. Okay, auto technology hackathons ideas like find parking spots. I think we have this. Okay, using the apps. 
um, you can actually book also your parking spots in IOI, for example. But sadly, we can go the mall nowadays. Um, pedestrian safety, vehicle maintenance apps okay, is very important. You have the vehicle maintenance app. Cute. In financial tech, uh, fintech field, subscription management solution, calculate your credit score, cash, uh, cash flow management. Another one, I forgot to edit this one, retail tech hackathon ideas. Digital shopping performance using AR, product QR codes. So sometimes you just bring over your uh, phone and turn on the apps. They will give you like more info from these ingredients or whatever and also the price based on the QR codes or whatever. Okay, I think finally we reached the end of slide. Uh, I would like to encourage all the participants here for those who did not join the CTF or you you can actually join both, I think, um, because it will be conducted different date. So join both, you get some idea because CTF is on the security. But hackathon is actually more on the idea, the pitching part. Okay, and how you can propose your idea. Challenge yourself, it is the only path which leads to growth. Okay, innovation is the ability to see change as an opportunity, not a threat by the Steve Jobs. I think that's it from me. Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'll pass to the MC if there is any questions or maybe we can open the Q&A after Dr. Ilya's session. I'm not so sure. Okay, I'll pass to the MC, Auni. Uh, yes, Dr. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, we will proceed the Q&A after Dr. Ilya's slot. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sakna. It was a very precise and relevant sharing session indeed. I'm pretty sure all of us in this workshop gained a lot of information to each word that you have mentioned just now. So, um, all right. So, as we have done with our first slot now, I would like to invite our next speaker, Dr. Muhammad Ilyas Muhammad Shuhud, advisor of Hagata Usim, to share his his experiences and knowledge of hackathon competition in both inside and outside of the user campus. For the information of all the participants, Dr. Muhammad Ilyas Muhammad Shuhud also has been honored with numerous grant awards and recognition, which are recipient of the Chancellor Award, Doctor of Philosophy, and Bronze Medalist in Innova competition. With all due respect, please welcome Dr. Ilyas Muhammad Shuhud. Right. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you for the host and uh, thank you for Dr. Professor Maida, Dr. Sakina who has started the first uh, training. I think somehow it's related to what I want to talk today. So uh, let me share the slide now. Uh, okay, sharing screen. See uh, my slide now. Is it okay? Not yet, doctor. Not yet. Yes, doctor. It's okay now. Yes, we can clearly see this slide. All right. So I'm focusing on design thinking and why I choose this uh, topic uh, based on my previous experiences in uh, involved in several uh, competitions, uh, hackathon competition, uh, somehow they call mechathon. Okay. So before that, I introduce a little bit about myself. Okay. I just recently promoted to a senior lecturer uh, last year. Eh? So uh, I have more industrial background. If you uh, look at this, uh, more in uh, banking information system. And uh, 
I joined UCN in 2009, and, and, and I, uh, not so much uh, competition, it was just like uh, Professor Madia Dr. Sakina, eh? uh, but I joined uh, uh, two competitions uh, like Innova and that. Um, okay, uh, about experience uh, in uh, Hackathon, eh? uh, during my school time, I also joined uh, like you are doing now, but uh, this is a little bit different. Eh? So there's no internet. We are in uh, a jungle. We put the, our teams in a jungle. So we have no internet there. There's no computer. Just a textbook, a science textbook. Eh? We have to team up uh, based on what you learn from class, uh, science class. Eh? So, and during that time, if you uh, have internet, also you cannot search because we don't have a device. Uh, like you have now. Nowadays, when you are doing a uh, boot camp, so you can stay, you can accept a very strong one eh? uh, through your smartphones. But during that time, there's no internet. It's more challenging, and you uh, just use what you have learned uh, in class. Okay. And in 2017, I joined IRECA as a panel uh, jury. And in 2018, a Mechaton, Unimaker. Uh, in UM for central region. So, uh, you think it's one of the universities that participated. Uh, also, another one in 2019. Uh, this is all face to face, eh? except for uh, last year, Hackathon Malaysia. Also, for central region, we we had uh, uh, when you have to do that in, in, in uh, online. Eh? Uh, that's what you're doing today. today eh? So, Hackathon Malaysia last year, uh, virtually. Eh? virtually. And then uh, one of the issue or challenges faced by the students is to choose the right problem. Okay? I think Dr. Sakina also touched a little bit about this. So that's why I choose uh, the topic for design thinking. Okay? So uh, this, is, this is not a, uh, a rule you must follow when you do design things, but this is just a, 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 a concept or philosophy that you can follow to guide you during your designing stage. Okay, so I hope at the end of this uh, session you can understand what is uh, concept of design thinking, and you can explain uh, each mode involved in design thinking, and you can relate it with your existing ideas. Okay, <clears throat> I think if you, I mean maybe some of you joined my previous class in cyber cyberpreneurship, uh, this topic is one of the topic I already um, discussed in the class. Okay. So design thinking. So what is design thinking? Okay. Uh, there are a lot of definition of design thinking. And I, 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 I like the first one from Tim Brown. Tim Brown is a, uh, a company from uh, CEO of IDEO, IDEO who designed a lot of things, uh, first mouse for uh, Apple. And so they designed the first mouse for Apple. And shopping cart we have today uh, in the Tesco or River Giant, so that's designed by initially by IDEO. Eh? So a lot of uh, uh, design initiated by IDEO. Okay? So what uh, Tim Brown said uh, in defining uh, design thinking, he said uh, design thinking is human-centered approach. So you to focus on human, human needs. Eh? To innovation that draws from the designers to it to integrate needs of people, the possibilities of technologies and the requirement of business success. So the three uh, main elements that has been uh, emphasized by Tim Brown. Okay, so uh, needs of people, uh, technology, and also business success. So some uh, students uh, they fail to uh, highlight the needs of people. Maybe it is very powerful, very um, flaring uh, topic they choose very high tech, but maybe people don't really need it. Okay, and also not um, uh, lead to a successful business. Okay, uh, normally uh, it, it, it somehow when you are you are designing something, you are innovating something. It's it, at the end should relate to a business and so should. Can be So they are uh, 
different scholars and, and about design thinking. So I choose this one from uh, IDEO. So they said uh, there are five uh, modes in design thinking process. Firstly, empathize, and then define, and then ideate, prototype, and then test. So what are these? I hope I have enough time. So empathize. Why do we need empathize? So what is the meaning of empathize? So empathize is deeper than the sympathize. Eh? Kalau tengok dalam in this picture. So empathize, sympathy. And sympathy ni biasa lah. So uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Kalau ada seorang in, in, in sad situation. I'm sorry for your loss. But actually it's not deep enough. Okay, but some other people say, I know exactly how you feel. They also cry for you when you are sad. So these people are actually showing empathy. They try to feed, uh, to feel inside you. Okay, so for example, uh, recently we have um, uh, war in Palestine, eh, in Gaza. So there's a uh, children uh, bombed and they lost their parents. Eh. Some people say, oh, I'm very sad, see you say. For your loss, and then uh, but uh, some uh, mothers they see these uh, crying babies, so they feel deeper. So they feel like uh, how the parents feel when they, the children like this. So they cry also, and so this is uh, the meaning of empathy. You feel what your uh, target audience feel. Right? So you want the, the the people that you want to focus. Okay. Empathy is the foundation of a human-centered design process. Okay? To empathize, what you need to do first, you have to observe, view users and their behavior in the context of their life. See, for example, you are focusing on uh, elderly. So, view of elderly and old people and how they behave and what kind of behavior you want, you want to look at. Okay? Engage, so communicate with them, interact with and interview users uh, through both schedule and short intercept encounter. But this is not uh, only way uh, to engage. But nowadays, because well, we are facing the pandemic, so we cannot have a contact, direct contact with uh, um, other people, strangers, right? You can use also virtual ethnography and you can join a Facebook group or whatever ways today is online, eh? safer. Okay, but maybe you, if you have time, and uh, this is the competition, maybe you have limited time, so it just adjust. Maybe searching on internet is also uh, can be helpful. Right? And then immerse, experience what your user experience. This is most important. So, so when you reach this uh, stage, so probably you choose the right topic, the right problem. Okay. So why you need to um, uh, do that empathize? Eh? Because you want to define the problem. This is what Dr. Sakina said just now. Uh, the defined mode is when you unpack and synthesize your empathy finding into compelling needs and insight and scope of specific and meaningful challenge. So it is a focus more than flaring. So we look at when we reach to that uh, empathy. So we can synthesize what are the problems actually, what these people need. Okay? What are uh, important points that you can uh, finalize? Eh? Uh, what is focus or scope that you can uh, lead? Eh? And then uh, what is the challenge in, in focusing on this problem? Okay, two goals of uh, the define was uh, to develop a deep understanding of your users and the design space uh, based on that understanding. But to produce an actionable problem statement, your point of view. Eh? Problem statement, and you're doing your FYP recently, right? So, so some problem statement. So it didn't really actually a problem sometimes. So this, that's why problem statement is really needed uh, when you start your FYP. So because the problem must be valid. Problem must be uh, uh, related to the uh, what you are trying to do, right? The, the themes, that, the title that you mentioned, so it's somehow related to the problem. Sometimes tajuk lain, tapi you follow the lain, eh? tak related. So uh, this is important. So that uh, in this uh, hackathon or uh, or design, whatever kind of um, space that you involve uh, design, so it's human-centered. Okay, adakah dia 
uh, <coughs> contribute kepada focus persons or groups that you're focusing. Eh? Your point of view should be guiding statement that focus at specific users and insight and needs that you uncovered during the empathize mode. Okay, this is the extension to the empathize mode. So what is a good point of view or good point uh, problem statements? So there are a long list of this, so you can read further all. Uh, what I want to highlight you provide focus and frame of the problem so you, you more understand uh, based on your emp uh, empathy theory. So you provide more focus and frame of the problem. Uh, focus. Yeah, ini yang kita nak tengok mungkin elderly tadi uh, cara nak jalan ada masalah eh, to support your back maybe eh. uh, so and this problem inspires your team so you have a teams of maybe five person and from different background are uh, they already agree about this uh, point of view so you need a mutual understanding mutual um, uh, perspective of this problem eh. provide reference for evaluating competing idea eh. So this is important also when uh, you've been asked in Q&A sessions after you have been pitching, so they can ask you anything. So if you have all this set in uh, all these five uh, modes of design thinking, you can be safe. Maybe you can answer correctly because you have uh, this in mind. Okay, the next third stage is I get okay, is the most that your design process which you aim to generate fundamental design are an alternative okay so you already understand you already empathize then you want to put in something else so what is the solutions okay based on the problem that you have been uh, abstracted so that by the problem you have you know, empathize study and then you want to do something alternative what is what we can resolve so you have a long list of uh, idea from your members, not only one. It's not work of a uh, designer. Maybe you have a team and you have one designer. It's not these guys only works and eh? not designers. So everyone has to be involved, give some ideas and you can, from financial maths, from ICAM tech, from ISA. So they have to provide their own perspective and eh? so your idea eh? to explore a wide solution space. So more than ISA, more than financial. So you can have more options. Eh? You can build prototype to test this with user. Okay, you ideate uh, in order to transition from identifying problem into exploring solution. That if the problem tadi, kita can explore solutions. Eh? Various form of addition are leveraged to akan bawa kepada step beyond obvious solution. So this is unique. So uh, you don't so kalau kata solutionnya adalah stroller uh, to help uh, elderly so bukan stroller apa wheelchair <laughs> sorry wheelchair so, you want not to provide the same wheelchair no eh? so this is the stage that you can get a obvious solution a unique solution eh? just increase the innovation potential of your solution set and then it's also harness the collective perspective and strengthen your team and eh? Uh, all participants contribute in giving ideas, uh, so it strengthen your teamwork. Okay, uh, unexpected areas of exploration. And somehow, sometimes um, one guys maybe they're very quiet, but they have very good thinking, so they give some uh, beyond the, the norms. Eh? So this is can be happen as well. Eh? So uh, great fluency and flexibility in your innovation. Okay. <coughs> what is the uh, stage of the uh, prototyping? Eh? Stage, uh, I have uh, one slide for prototyping. prototyping. Say, prototyping is the uh, another stage where you want to learn. You need to learn uh, from uh, the user itself. Eh? So you already have idea and you put into uh, a prototype. So prototype not necessary to be. Uh, I think they have to give this slide. The lead again. Slide. It's okay. So a prototype can be a very very minimal. Maybe it's a uh, it's just a communications or is is a, a simulation of work. It's just a, a draw of some things. Right? So it can be. Uh, 
just to first is to learn eh, if a picture uh, was a thousand words, a prototype was a thousand pictures. So give me more understanding. If you refer to this picture, so this is a group member. So you can see the same picture. So somehow, uh, sometimes you, you already mentioned about that. So you, you said you, know, you agree. But when you draw or something, a diagram, put it, visualize it, it's different. Yeah, so you just realize among yourself, you have a different understanding. So a prototype can help you to solve disagreement. Okay? And start a conversation. A prototype can be a great way to have different kind of conversation with user. So you just talk about this to your target user. So sometimes they uh, understand differently, even they sometimes agree. But actually, when you show a prototype, so they can have more understanding to give you more inputs. Okay? And also fail quickly and cheaply. Eh? Even um, if the first uh, prototype fails, it's not what uh, the user needs. So you can uh, do it again. So it's uh, cheaper than you uh, you uh, straight to the uh, design at the, at the prototype. You just develop the design. But if fail, it's costly because you uh, complete uh, you, you you develop a complete product. Okay. And then many digital solution building process. Eh? Identify variable, export and uh, What is the problem? Uh, uh, the bigger problem can be reduced. Eh? What are the testable chunk? Hello? Okay, and then the last stage is testing. So test is the chance to get feedback on your solutions. So you have refined uh, prototype that you want to you want to test with your uh, uh, users, okay? Uh, but maybe not real users. Eh? So you can use maybe uh, lab rats, or you can check with your uh, tester, eh? software tester. Eh? to get feedback on your solutions, refine the solution to make them better, and continue to learn about your users. Okay, so but at this stage, you already focus, uh, you already advance, you already empathize, but maybe this can help you more understanding on the users. Uh, so, but because uh, test is the state that you test if you are wrong. Okay, kalau prototype tadi, just you want to test if you're right. Okay. So it's in iterative mode, so it can be a cycle. So if it fails, then you need to rebuild and refine, uh, be resigned, and you test again. Okay. So why test is needed to refine the prototype uh, and solutions, and then to learn more about your user, and to test and refine your point of view. Okay. Sometimes the ujung ujung eh, reveal that not only you did not get the solution right, but also that you have failed to frame the problem correctly. And the hujung, pitching pun masih ada ada problem. I must say tak clear the problem too. People don't see that it's really uh, relevant. Eh? Okay, so this is important. Uh, I put give some example. Uh, the project maybe uh, recently, so I just pick up wherever I, I came across. So they say uh, recently the 6,200 did not turn up for vaccination in the So It's a quite huge number. I'm waiting for this vaccination, but 6,200 people did not turn up. So what is the problem? So you empathize. This is an example. It's not really uh, uh, research that I've done. So maybe eh, based on reading and so interview call, uh, joining uh, virtual ethnography, uh, research. So you find out uh, actually they have no transportation. They are 60 years old and above. Uh, also, they are confusing, uh, just scared because of the fake uh, news about um, vaccination, right? And they also live alone, registered by someone else, no smartphone, quick update, should as uh, so you from from the problem that you have stated eh, uh, among your, your group members at least maybe one problem you want to uh, focus or tackle eh? so maybe uh, in this situation i choose no communication communication device and transportation so what we can uh, propose in the ideation stage eh? so you double an app for applicants in a both condition you know, 
So during vaccine registration, they should also ask about the above conditions. And must say registration vaccination too. Maybe they can put. Do uh, you have transportation? How far you are from uh, the the nearest place for vaccination? Do you have smartphone? And so you should, this information should be asked, so that when during the appointment you receive the appointment and during uh, uh, before I think you got the appointment earlier than before the vaccination, so they can plan for you. So we, maybe an NGO can help to pick up you for, at your home and bring uh, to the clinics or the center for vaccination. Right? So this can be planned. Uh, okay, uh, and then prototype, you could develop a prototype, maybe a software and app, uh, maybe the first uh, first level of prototyping, just uh, a PowerPoint, PowerPoint uh, uh, I mean, a prototype, so just show to the user, it is uh, easy for you to use, right? uh, so is it get okay, then so you can improve. Improve, improve and test uh, finally to the real user, so the elderly who are in this uh, group, then so, um, uh, try to uh, get feedback from them. So, and also when you do testing of your project uh, or your, your design, right? so do not defend. Okay? Uh, sometimes when you're testing, actually you want to get more inputs about your product, right? but if you defend, uh, you will lose inputs. Okay. Uh, except if they are just, uh, this is misunderstanding. For example, uh, they argue why is this in, in, in orange? Okay, actually, bukan uh, orange memang merah. So, so they they macam material they are color blind. So, so this is not orange. This is uh, this is red. Uh, so because uh, the user said it should be in red. Right? So maybe they have problem. So this is okay. So this. Uh, uh, misunderstanding that you're doing some correction, but if you are defending, okay, you just uh, the user say you should be in red, so you defend uh, orange is better because orange like this, like this, you uh, for youngsters or whatever, you give some reason, so uh, it will slow down, you will lose some inputs. Okay? So, for testing, actually, you want to study to get whether you are wrong, right? your, your solution is wrong, so it's an input if they try to give you some um, critics. Eh? Okay, so there are a lot more than, than that five stages, uh, thinking design consideration. So uh, this one, the show, don't tell, okay? Communicate your vision in impactful, meaningful way by creating experiences using illustration. Sakina pada sebut tadi, visualize. Sometimes they just say about it, also just write down. Uh, the point, but uh, people prefer you can, can grab uh, information what you want to say in diagram, in visualization, so, some graph uh, step, okay, uh, the smart arts uh, at least, eh? so you can see the stages, so they can uh, understand better than text or you just talk about it. Okay, focus on human value. Okay, tadi, uh, just an example of human value. This is empathy for people you are designing for and get feedback from them. Eh? Fundamental good design. So, uh, <coughs> contribution by the human value. So, it's not good enough. Okay. And then uh, a lot more. Uh, say, radical co collaboration among your team members and you have form a groups. Uh, all must be functioning and all must contribute uh, to the teams. Okay? At all stage, the initial stage, and empathy, uh, empathy uh, uh, idea. So they, they have to collaborate. collaborate okay? So you have to uh, also organize. I mean, uh, delegate. This guy got a This guy got person. Give just as a team leader. Okay? Uh, you need a, a team leader that can lead all this. Okay. So I delegate mindset in the room. So many ideas are better than one perfect ideas. Okay, you can consider as well. So because you have more options, you have more ideas. Avoid avoid to rush to a solution. Okay? Don't quickly jump to a solution. Okay? Reframe the problem that partners present. Solve deeper needs. Okay? So filter the loop. Okay? Uh, use process for a structure that lets creativity bubble up. Eh? So, work with people not like you. Eh? 
Itu uh, niat kita buat bias. Kalau you nak uh, work with people yang sama je, so you will lose some problems. Yeah? Uh, because when you test out, there are many people different with us. Yeah? Uh, biasness. Yeah? We're talking about biasness. Okay. Seek out stories and always be telling stories. Okay. Uh, okay, you can read off from my uh, slide. I'll give you the slide later. And also, I also have links to uh, videos in YouTube, YouTube, to the YouTube, so you can click on this first two. And I also have some reading materials. So you can click on this, you can download to PDF materials. So uh, you can uh, read further uh, about uh, uh, design thinking. Yeah? You can. I, think, I think that's all for now. I think we have still have four minutes. Do uh, you have any questions? Or you have your own slide for Q&A sessions? Oh, Doctor. Oh, uh, actually, we have our we have time uh, for Q&A session. Uh, okay, so now, ladies okay, and so gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for question and answer, answer session. All participants are allowed to drop questions in the pilot link that has been shared in the chat. For those who want to on the microphone, please click on the raise hand emoji first, then I will call out your name. And uh, attention to all respective participants, we will provide you five minutes. To ask, to ask any questions in the pilot link before proceed with the session. Thank you. Uh, Auni, for the Q&A session, um, how we can answer? Is it live from here? Uh, yes, Doctor. Actually, uh, I will uh, first, if there are uh, someone want to answer it with you, uh, using the mic, I will call, the, I will call up your uh, their name. But if they have question in the palette, I will uh, read it to uh, to Dr. Sakina and also Dr. Ilyas. Okay, I'm waiting the questions from the audience first. Otherwise, if you don't have from here, probably you can read from the Padlet and I will answer it. Okay, Dr. Saya upload eh, saya will upload my slide ni. Hello. Can I ask uh, a question, maybe? Yes. Okay. Um. Hello. Uh. Hi. So my name is Amir Ashraf Nazmil. Uh, I want to ask maybe a tips or a question regarding the pitching session. So maybe uh, it, are we need to prepare a slide or maybe uh, just just present the, our prototype in pitching session? Okay, uh, thank you Amir Ashraf. You can answer your questions regarding the pitching and also the prototype, right? If what yeah, I understand. because uh, I I a bit confused uh -huh. for using the prototype or maybe we, we need to prepare PowerPoint slide because uh, I, I I I don't think five minutes is, is um, like a long Such time a, to yeah. yes even in real competition that we have bring the students is only three minutes and they say it's three minutes memang three minutes 
once you exit, you memang susah lah nak menang. Okay. Uh, so you really need to do the mock presentation sebab you kena ikut time tu. Okay, about the prototype. Um, how you can share to us prototype? Okay, kalau face to face or live punya event, I'm not so sure whether we have a, the international students or not here. I can try to um, answer in Malay if we don't have any international students here. Uh, but I will try to mingle around. Okay, um, right. When you do the pitching, obviously you are going to present any kind of uh, software, but usually people will use the PowerPoint, obviously. Easy. Mm -hmm. You can use PowerPoint or whatever. You can use a video, but video will take some time. And you have a very short duration to present your idea. So don't waste your time doing a video for the pitching. So use the PowerPoint slide, but make it more interesting. How you you can include your prototype? Okay, prototype sometimes um, if a hackathon punya competition, dia tak pergi tengok lagi you punya end product. You They will see the pitching first. So pitching ni memang betul-betul totally a presentation sahaja presentation but how you want to include dikatakan ni online competition kan how you want to include the prototype so you dah buat prototype tu using another tools for example kalau you nak develop and mobile apps you ada interface dia interface tu macam mana you nak buat jangan guna words leceh you nak kena draw rupa mobile apps tu so there are lots of uh, tools for prototype i will share another slides that i already actually uh, present untuk uni maker um last year Sebab dalam slide tu saya ada share jenis-jenis tools untuk buat prototype punya tools lah. Okay, for example yang selalu saya bagi tahu kat student saya guna Just In Mind untuk mobile apps. Okay, you bila Just In Mind tu dia boleh nampak interface tau. From one face to another in interface. For example, ini untuk mobile apps. Okay, katakan kalau you develop um, uh, IoT punya end product, for example. So you have the live end product tu, you take photo and and then you letak dekat dalam you punya slide. You get the idea, there is a prototype. You give an idea, figure tu, okay ini adalah saya punya bilik, lepas tu connected, eh, rumah saya connected dengan apa, for example uh, ada apps ke apa ke, you, you lukis figure tu. So figure tu boleh, boleh jadi you punya prototype. You get the idea or not? Yeah, uh, so we just uh, screenshot the interface and put it into our slide. Eh? Yes, betul. Ini oh. online version lah. Sebab kalau face to face, memang betul, uh, kalau face to face sama. You kena come at the, at the stage depan orang ramai semua. Hmm. Uh, dekat atas stage tu memang tiga minit. Kemudian orang kalau berminat, dia akan datang kalau katakan you dah di top five atau top ten. Kadang-kadang dia ambil top ten. Baru orang pergi kat major group you. Lepas tu baru orang tengok pula. Atau hmm. pada setengah competition, dia nilai dulu masa you tengah develop tu, nilai-nilai lepas tu baru dia pilih, dia filter and then baru dia uh, panggil you untuk pitching pula. So different competition lain cara, dia akan compare dua-dua. Tapi masa pitching memang totally pitching, focus on the presentation. How you want to include your prototype interface, memang you can make screenshot lah, tetap. Sebab kalau you cakap idea je kan kadang orang tak boleh nak Orang kata orang tak boleh nak gambarkan sebab teks kan orang tak dapat gambaran. Hmm. Ha. Saya ada juga yang menggunakan uh, macam apa tu, infografik. So dia ada satu slide je. So, ha, betul kreatif. tapi ha. untuk auto uh, kreatif ni memang kita buat minta kalau you tengok tadi rubrik satu kreatif kita nak um, one poster only. Ha, okay. so, dalam satu poster tu probably your title, your group members your problem statement, uh, lepas tu lepas problem statement terus pergi objektif you, apa yang you nak solve dan uh, terus pergi kepada you punya proposed idea tu lah dengan references included. Uh, oh, tak so payah buat slide uh, banyak. Untuk auto untuk creative kali ni uh, based on the poster or what is there? Betul, just, based, just on speech, the based on the poster. Ah betul, buka so satu. No need, no need do uh. any other slide eh? Tak perlu, tapi satu poster right. tu Dia ada, ada semua benda. Dia hmm. macam FYP. FYP dia, pitch, dia pitching juga. Tapi satu poster. Tapi FYP lama lagi lah 15. Lepas tu dia demo. So 
I think I, I saw a few questions at the Padlet sebenarnya tadi. Um, roughly lah saya yang saya ternampak. Dia orang tanya pasal apa tu. Apa hmm. tadi? Alamak, hmm. saya lupa pula. Kau um, tak nak saya baca saya ke macam mana? Ah, itulah tengok. Eh, banyak tadi dah, dah terlupa. Tadi dah ingat dia jawab. Nak saya baca saya ke? Ah, boleh yeah. juga. Ah, okay. So saya haraplah saya so, menjawab okay. soalan Amir Ashraf tadi. Ya, yeah, sure. Alright, thank you for the questions. Okay, uh, so now the Q&A uh, uh, session, I will ask the first question uh, to Dr. Sakina. First question is, Assalamualaikum Doctor, I am uh, I am a newbie in this high things. thing. May I ask more details about the prototype that you have mentioned earlier? Is it a code or something? Because I have Googled it. It said an early sample model or release of a product created to rest a concept or process. Am I right? Thank you, Doctor. That's the, question, the first question to Dr. Sakina. Okay, I think uh, thanks for the questions. Um, I think I have answered this question just now the, about the prototype. You can um, do a screenshot what you have uh, idea on the proper solutions. For example, using another tools to develop the idea of mobile apps when you interface. Just show very important part and then you screenshot, you ambil, you masuk dalam uh, slides. But here in Atu Creative, we are giving you the platform. You just prepare one uh, one poster. So satu poster tu, you masukkanlah a few interface of the prototype. Kod tak? Kita tak tengok kod untuk um, hackathon atau uh, kreatif ni. It's more an idea. Lepas tu lebih kepada orang kata interfaces lah. Macam mana you nak 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 dapat uh, fahamkan juri. Macam mana interface ni boleh bergerak satu bergerak untuk has, dapat selesaikan masalah yang you propose tu. You don't need to share the codes because this is just a pitching innovation idea for atau uh, kreatif. Okay, it's a pitching idea. Tapi pitching idea tu, you boleh bagi dalam bentuk ilustrasi. Ilustrasi tu boleh digambarkan menggunakan mobile interface. Tak semestinya mobile. Kalau you propose a, a web base, you boleh tunjuk web base punya. Kan ada banyak isu kan lately. Uh, isu tentang apa tu, sistem interface uh, vaksin. Yang uh, I think ramai struggle including me, myself. Um, dia punya interface berapa banyak kali dia keluar suruh type uh, IC number lepas tu suruh type email dua, uh, phone number dua kali. So that is actually you boleh ambil idea itu adalah dia punya uh, prototype interface dia tu dan you kena justify juga kan, kenapa you buat interface macam ni. Kenapa you nak let, uh, ask the user minta dua kali IC number minta dua kali email. So bila you pitch you kena bagi justification as well. You got the idea. Uh, okay. So everything that you present, you must justify or sometimes tak sempat nak justify but you need to to know the answer. Sebab so later on, judges may be tanya kenapa you propose you punya interface macam tu. So jangan jawab sebab yang tak tak apa tak relevant. So everything that you do must have a strong justification. Okay. Thank you, Mauni. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sakina. We will proceed with the next question, uh, question number two. We would like to refer this question to Dr. Ilyas. Doctor, can you share a little bit to us how to build more confidence to join this competition? Because yeah. sometimes I do feel like... Sorry, Lang. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, do my voice clear now? Okay, now we can hear you. Alright, uh, sorry for my mistake. Okay, uh, let's proceed with the second question. Okay, this second question we will refer to uh, Dr. Ilyas. Doctor, can you share a little bit to us how to build more confidence to join this competition? Because sometimes I do feel like we will be compete with the other who have more knowledge and maybe some tips for us to join Hackathon outside UCIM. Thanks, Doctor. Okay, thank you for 
the student who ask. I think ini yang macam ni uh, competition. Yang ni bukan wisim saja kan? Atau kreatif? Wisim saja kan? Untuk atau kreatif hackathon ni tak ingat. Komiti boleh jawab ke? Asalnya untuk wisim saja kan? Ya Dr. Ah, sebab kita, kita nak bagi sebenarnya tolong korang. Uh, Build up your experience and confidence. Sebenarnya bagi, bagi saya lah. Saya banyak expose kat luar. So sebenarnya you rasa um, macam you macam you selain lebih pandai lebih bagus sebenarnya sama kerja bila saya pergi sana saya tengok sama je dia orang pun ada masalah yang macam you all sanya ni dia orang pun ada so masalah yang sama cuma you, kita tak pernah jumpa dia orang eh. saya rasa yang yang drive uh, macam mana student-student yang excellent uh, winner winner of the hackathon competition ni sebab dia ada passion yang strong uh, to the problem segment yang be confident dengan problem tu memang ada uh, contribution pada Uh, human kind yang semua saya cakap tadi lah. So bila you punya problem tu strong and then banyak support daripada uh, pecara memang you dah validate. You, punya, you akan secara automatic you akan confidence. Uh, tapi kalau you sendiri tak confident dengan <laughs> your problem. Uh, macam thesis juga FYP lah. Ataupun apa-apa project. <coughs> eh, problem you tak strong dan tak nampak pun dari uh, apa ni dari or orang luar eh, tak uh, orang dah ni or selain daripada you punya group members ni tak nampak so mungkin itu tak tak confidence eh that's why we ada platform ni eh, atau kreatif ni untuk you sim saja so bila you dah menang you dah dapat feedbacks so dia akan biasa eh so dah biasakan benda-benda ni uh, masuk competition walaupun kalah sekalipun it's a good exposure for you macam doktor Sakina cakap tadi it's a good for you for for, for learning Sebelum dah mula-mula memang macam tu lah kita nak masuk apa-apa competition Memang kita ada nervous, kita rasa mungkin kita akan kalah Tapi kita dah buktikan banyak competition yang you seem telah berjaya uh, Mungkin eh, kalau you tanya orang yang berjaya tu, mula-mula dia pun ada rasa benda yang sama Tapi bila yang kali kedua mungkin dia dah lebih confident Confident, confident, confident dan sekarang, sekarang dia tak ada masalah lah uh, So yang, yang penting bagi saya passion and you have a clear problem statement Itu uh, je lah bagi saya Selain tu ya communication skills, ada juga soalan tanya tentang skills yang diperlukan kan. So uh, banyak skill lah yang perlukan communication skill and domain expertise. So uh, you are focusing on certain uh, problem tadi tu, make sure you tahu banyak tentang tu. Kalau uh, uh, apa ni, uh, juri ataupun panel tanya background sikit tu you dah terkucil, uh, tak tahu history. At least you kena baca lah. Jangan fokus pada area yang sempit saja. So you have to tengok your history, apakah research yang sebelum pernah buat, uh, group yang sebelum ni pernah start tak ni. So domain expertise tu kena improve lah. Yang ni designing. So design uh, masa design pun kena tengok dia dari segi UI dia, uh, user experience kena tahu sikit lah. Uh, sikit -sikit. Walaupun you tak very detail tapi ada lah. Uh, boleh jawab kalau ditanya. Eh. <coughs> okay then kalau uh, ni, ni tentang programming kan so kena tahu back end development uh, front end development eh, kalau ada problem ni macam mana nak handle dari segi technical lah so kalau tak semua expert tentang programming mungkin ada salah seorang yang boleh jawab kalau tanya tentang uh, programming skill tu so, eh. uh, kemudian project management skill pun penting macam uh, nak uruskan especially yang uh, manager lah ataupun ketua kumpulan eh. so you have to Uh, appoint one leader so dia akan manage uh, apa yang 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 dia uh, harus manage lah macam delegation so yang ni buat apa dia boleh bagi arahan dan you sendiri menerima arahan daripada ketua ok uh, tu lah antara skill-skill uh, yang diperlukan harap menjawab eh I see. Thank you, Dr. Ilyas. Uh, let's proceed with the next question. Uh, this question refer to Dr. Sakina. Dr. Can you suggest the best platform for us to practice hackathon? Thank you, Doctor. To practice, uh, I think hackathon is not a place we can simply practice like CTF. Okay, CTF uh, is a security or programming punya competitions where you have a platform or a website yang boleh uh, belajar uh, programming questions and then solve other forum um, ataupun CTF tu pun ada juga kan uh, website tapi hackathon ni tak ada tau you have to nak practice so you memang kena join so how you want to join sebenarnya Art of Creative 21 ni is actually the good platform hmm. untuk you mencuba sebelum you nak pergi keluar nanti okay, so kalau you rasa takut-takut gunalah platform this uh, kita nak mudahkan korang dah tak payah nak buat banyak slide 
prepare satu slide poster simple that we can see from here nanti then you pitching for three minutes or five minutes i think here it's five minutes so take this auto creative sebab saya dapat info hackathon uh, competition tak banyak lagi yang hantar penyertaan padahal ni lagi mudah daripada masuk CTF sebab dia involve you punya idea you punya critical thinking saya, hmm. saya percaya kita ni banyak sebenarnya dalam kepala kita macam-macam idea kita ada tapi kita takut kita takut nak beritahu dekat orang luar kita takut macam ala idea aku nampak macam bodoh ada idea aku nampak macam tak praktikal so bila kita dah rasa macam tu kita dah dah merendahkan diri kita dah okey so bila kita rasa idea tu tak praktikal kita tanya dia dah tanya dah balik diri kita balik kenapa idea ni tak praktikal so bila kita dah tanya macam tu at least kita dah boleh jawab soalan tu bila orang tanya untuk siapa kita boleh propose Okay, benda ni you kena fikir bila kita propose problem statements, kita kena fikir juga siapa target audience that we want to solve. Adakah untuk pengguna biasa? Adakah untuk kanak-kanak saja? Itu hmm. adalah scope. Hackathon ni lebih kurang macam you punya FYP tau sebenarnya. Ha, tapi kali ni kita buat hackathon yang untuk pitching idea. The novelty untuk idea saja. Okay, ha, you propose macam FYP satu sebenarnya benda ni. So kalau you nak nak build you punya confidence, you nak get experience, I think AK21 is the best platform. Sebab kita tak ada satu platform yang boleh simply practice hackathon punya um, online. Ada ke Dr. Ilyas? <laughs> tak ada rasanya. Ha, so kita nak dapat experience tu memang kita kena join. So you nak join luar, you rasa lagi takut kan? Sebab dah apa, kat luar tu lagi banyak lah. Lepas tu juri-juri hackathon ni selalunya industri tau. Ha, industri ni lagi lah banyak demand lagi banyak orang punya soalan-soalan lagi yang out of the box lah yang kita tak terfikir jadi kita mula dulu dengan small steps masuk dulu yang usim punya yang kita orang memang buat ni khas untuk korang sebenarnya untuk develop korang punya experience jangan fikir masuk alah susah lah nak benda mesti senior dapat korang dah dah letak dah satu mindset lagi senior lah. sebab sebab dia orang senior kau ingat kau ingat kan kadang senior bagus sangat ke tak Mm-hmm. Kalau dia tak praktis, even dia punya CGPA bagus tapi belum tentu dia boleh pitching dengan bagus, belum tentu dia boleh uh, present idea dengan baik tak? Even you first year, kalau you do the cukup sufficient practice, insya Allah you boleh menang juga. You have... Saya, saya ha. satu idea, satu idea untuk platform ni kata you nak pitch, nak practice. You guna social media lah macam TikTok ke uh, Instagram ke, you try Uh, appear oh. dekat sini. You kan buat follower beribu-ribu kan. <laughs> you <laughs> record, record you punya idea tu to post. Uh, macam mana reaction dia orang. Uh, so they can be confident uh. juga. Biasa kan appear kat online. Uh. So cakap. Itu kalau student yang ramai follower lah yang rasa <laughs> apa dia punya insecure. Dia tak ada rasa insecure. Uh, itu <laughs> boleh share dekat social media. Tapi hmm. kalau you rasa insecure dan uh, sometimes idea ni orang boleh ambil idea takut kan. Ha, jadi isu pula lah kan. Hmm. So, betul lah. Light, light lah macam apa-apa isu semasa. Ini just nak practice kan. Ada isu semasa. Uh, you try and dapatkan respon kepada user. Ha, boleh juga macam vaksin ke. Tapi hmm. kena tengok juga takut benda tu sensitif kan. Ha. Tapi just nak practice light light ya, isu lah. Dalam grup korang, katakan satu grup ni, tiga ha. orang kan. Ha. Tak tahu lagi siapa yang boleh cakap. So apa kata ambil giliran masing-masing try pitching 3 minit atau 5 minit kalau yang benda ni 5 minit. So daripada situ korang dapat idea siapa yang boleh present dengan baik. Mas- macam tu jugalah saya buat masa saya coaching. Okay student A kena pre- kena juga try cakap. Student B pun kena juga try cakap. So lepas itu kita dapatlah kumpulkan mana yang bagus. Janganlah terus dah fokus. Ah, kau je lah sebab kau pandai cakap kan. Kau dah present terus dia fikir macam tu kan kan orang yang senyap ni dia boleh je cakap banyak hmm. tapi dia, dia sebab orang dah selalu macam alah kau je selalu tanya soalan jadi kau je lah present sebab kita dah dapat dah ada selalu beri satu assumption macam tu tak bagi saya dalam satu grup tu apa kata masing-masing try practice untuk bercakap selepas korang dah propose idea daripada situ korang decide siapa yang selesai untuk pitching untuk hmm. the best presenter mewakili korang punya group. So I think this is the best platform sebenarnya. Kalau lagi banyak penyertaan mana tahu kita boleh tambah lagi hadiah ke menggunakan duit sponsor uh, ISAC kan. 
So saya mengharapkan lebih banyak lah sebenarnya especially tahun satu, tahun dua join this. Nanti tak adalah masa FYP satu terpengar-pengar apa benda problem aku nak solve. Sampai hmm. sekarang masuk tahun tiga pun tak dapat-dapat lagi idea sebab tak nak fikir. Hmm. Aku dah membaca. Ha, tak nak sesuatu. mencuba. Tengok gosip je. <laughs> Bawang. Okay. Serah kembali kepada MC. Uh, thank you uh, Dr. Sakina and Dr. Ilyas. InsyaAllah we will proceed with our last questions. Uh, actually this questions participant would like to ask uh, opinions from both Dr. Sakina and Dr. Ilyas. Assalamualaikum Dr. What is the best prototype that you have met and see from other contestants during your participation in Hackathon? Prototype. Okay, Dr. Ilyas maybe boleh answer dulu lah. Saya tengah type je. Oh, dia banyak level lah yang saya join dulu ni. Uh, tapi prototype yang saya join sebanyak kali ni yang advance, yang ada real uh, machines eh. Uh, cuma saya ingat di, di UTM eh, dia, dia buat satu sistem untuk uh, road safety. Kalau tak saya, itu yang terbaik lah. Dia ada, ada, ada physical, sebab ni uh, uni maker ni, dia open. Engineering ke, business ke, semua, semua boleh masuk. Saya ingat yang tu dia memang ada real prototype yang functioning. Eh, yang orang boleh nampak dia punya contribution. Uh, itu very very high end punya prototype lah. Tapi yang light light masa pitching tu ada juga. Dia just juga satu gambar yang saya cakap tadi macam macam uh, uh, apa ni cakap tadi infografik tapi uh, satu je. Uh, maknanya ada step yang biasa dan step yang dia punya. Uh, so nak bagi tahu yang dia punya ni berbeza daripada yang biasa. Uh, saya tak ingat apa topik tu uh, tapi dia ada yang very clear lah. So first impression masa uh, pitching tu kita dah nampak dia nak buat benda yang baru. So inovasi kat situ. Uh, dia bukan yang full punya poster eh. Dia memang um, contohnya A, B, C, D kan tapi dia punya kan X, Y, Z uh, contohnya lah. Uh, itu yang light punya prototype lah. Okay, um, Dr. Ilyas dah habis lah? Ah, dah dah, tu je lah. <laughs> okay, the best prototype eh. Oh, so, dah lama tak pergi live punya competition ni saya pun hampir lupa. <laughs> Tapi apa yang saya boleh bagi sharing experience lah. Um, maksudnya dia boleh illustrate idea tu. Kadang-kadang benda tu nak buat besar tau. Macam kena macam contohnya lah kan paling mudah saya bagi idea saya punya projek lah sendiri. Trough Mac Cloud. Um, it's a vending machine. Vending machine. Kita orang nak buat vending machine uh, ubat dekat airport. Itu idea asal kita orang. Okay. Um, so macam mana kita orang nak bawa vending machine? Susah kan? Vending machine kan benda besar. Takkan kita orang nak bawa vending machine nak, nak demo dengan handphone. So what we do, we develop a vending machine punya prototype. Um, Sekejap eh, kalau saya boleh ambil kejap dekat bilik store saya Terus saya punya prototype Sebentar ya You boleh google lah dekat hackathon-hackathon yang lain Biasanya dia akan tunjukkan winner eh? uh, Kat situ ada dia punya uh, information tentang winner uh, hackathon uh, So boleh dapatkan idea daripada sana. Okay. Sorry for the delay. Okay, prototype ada banyak jenis eh. Sama ada you guna interface. Tapi sebab idea yang sebelum ni uh, fokus kami kepada sekejap. Ah, dah maaf. Barang tu dah lama. Okey. Saya tak pasti korang mungkin sebab ada backdrop kot korang tak boleh nampak lah saya punya ni. Maybe saya kena clearkan saya punya backdrop baru boleh nampak kan. Um, remove backdrop kot. Okey boleh tengok tak? Boleh nampak tak benda ni? Camera belum on kot. Ha? Huh? Kamu tak on? Ah. Ah, eh. 
Ah dah dah dah. Nampak tak dah roti? Dah dah. Okay benda ni sebenarnya kita orang develop as a prototype vending machine tau. Dalam ni kita orang letak ubat. Contohlah sampel eh. Ubat. So kat macam mana dia interact dengan kita orang punya in, uh, phone interface. Okay, kat belakang ni kalau korang nampak ni kita orang label kalah. Kononnya nama vending machine ni Termat Care. Okay. Itu nama unik dia lah untuk selling point kita orang. Okay. Ini adalah kalau korang nampak belakang ni. Dia punya proses. Nampak ni Alino kat belakang ni. Alino kit ni. Boleh nampak? Nampak doktor? Boleh. Okey. Benda ni sebenarnya yang interact dengan phone. Okey. Dekat phone kita orang develop. Okey bila dia key in katakan dia dah buat payment dekat airport. Uh, susah kan nak cari ubat-ubat uh, yang critical. So dia boleh je uh, pilih ubat apa. Lepas tu dia pergi kat airport tu dia masukkan key in. Lepas tu buka lah. Bila kita orang tekan handphone tu, dia release, dia akan jatuh dekat sini. Masa simulation tu jadilah. Sekarang ni dah lama tak buat ni. Bateri pun dah tak ada. So something like this lah. Ni yang namakan prototype. Kita tak mampu nak bawa real vending machine yang besar masa uh, competition. Kita buat sendiri. Uh, illustrate. Ni satu salah satu example of prototype. Okay. Itu sebab prototype yang melibatkan orang kata Um, apa tu? End product. Ah, end product. Kalau yang menggunakan uh, interface, saya pun nak cari background ni jap. Kalau yang menggunakan interface sahaja yang tak ada end product, yang tak ada melibatkan apa-apa, korang tunjuk je lah interface screenshot mobile apps pun dah okay. For this auto creative, tak perlu pun sampai end product yang macam kita orang sebab kita orang memang kena demo. Okay, sebab sebab tu kena fahamkan dulu competition tu dia nak sampai apa end product ataupun pitching idea saja sebab yang tech hack yang kita orang main tu dia nak pitching idea saja pun dah okey so pitching idea tu masa dalam slide tu kita orang share lah uh, interface uh, satu nombor dua interface tiga siapa user yang terlibat masukkan dalam slide so untuk auto creative kau orang letakkan dalam satu poster tu mungkin poster yang paling atas tu awal tu problem statement objective lepas tu terus dah figure your proposed idea. That's it. Tu saja. 5 minutes. Okay, I hope uh, ready answer the questions. Satu lagi lah saya nak tambah sikit. Uh -huh. uh, sebagai panel lah saya pun jadi panel. Dia punya first impression eh. Kita jadi panel, kita pergi ke booth uh, sesuatu student ni. Eh. Dia nampak dia macam something yang wow. Kita macam nak uh, tarik perhatian kita. Uh, itu kadang you boleh dapatkan makan. Dan bila function tu memang apa yang dia expect. Tapi kalau mula dia pergi kat bus, dia macam apa benda ni yang macam selekeh je, tak kemas dan nampak macam teruk sangat tu. Uh, kebarang kalian dalam makan rendah tu tinggi juga lah. That's why bila dah ada prototype tu, cuba dapatkan feedback pada orang yang bukan dalam group you. Uh, impression. First impression tu penting juga. Feedback tu sangat penting, betul. Korang tanya je sendiri dekat rumah ni kan masa-masa kat rumah kan tanya sendiri dalam family korang bila korang dah propose idea ni. Okey ke idea ni korang faham tak? Tanya je kat mak ayah korang. Mana tahu diorang dapat bagi input yang lebih menarik untuk korang improve. And another things ada satu question lagi. Do we need to do the prototype for this hackathon? Bagi saya kalau you dapat tunjukkan prototype interface tu dah memang kata bonus marks lah. Sebab bayangkan ada daripada 10 Mungkin satu orang yang ada prototype, mestilah kita lagi teruja. Tapi kalau prototype dia tetap menarik, of course lah tak terpilih juga. Tapi it's a good selling point lah. Sebab you boleh present you punya idea dalam bentuk interface. Tapi interface yang betul, -betul yang belum end product lagi lah. Tapi you dah, dah fahamkan juri. Oh saya nak, rupanya macam ni nanti dalam interface. Ha. Make sure tak ada spelling error. Oh, kadang ada spelling error. <laughs> Apa, uh, stop or start pun salah je. Oh, itu janganlah. Itu, itu bahaya eh. Kalau ha. hackathon, avoid any grammar mistake. Avoid <laughs> any typo. Especially dan slide. Kalau you cakap ada broken English, orang tak perasan sangat. Bila cakap, that's it's okay. Uh, tapi, um, try to identify whether you have this habit during the presentation. Some students, they don't realize they have this this habit probably uh, 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 many times uh, uh, so masa mock presentation tu you boleh improve lah you akan nampak oh record ke dekat whatsapp you akan tengok balik oh banyak kali aku sebut ah uh, ah uh. dah kalau dah lebih 10 kali tu something that you need to improve lah 
Okay. Hmm, practice lah, practice. Okay, uh, be back again to MC. Okay, Doctor. Um, thank you, Doctor Fakina and Doctor Ilyas for giving the detailed explanation of the question asked by the participants. Dear participants, I hope you have found today's program informative and useful. So, ladies and gentlemen, before we end our session today, let's take some photos as a memory of our resistance. Please open your camera. And participants are required to set their photos. Uh, to set the poster chat at the team chat as the background wallpaper. Okay. So, uh, we are going to set the photo shoot in less than one minute. Okay? Right. Tak boleh tengok enlarge gallery. Saya nampak galeri saja. So far only me and Otilia and Auni. Okay, where is the rest? Ladies, where are you? Ha, baru nak cari tudung ni. Eh. Komiti mana? Komiti AK. So first year where are you? Banyak lagi muka first year saya tak kenal ni. Dua semester online. Ini ada Mas tahun dua ni. Masa untuk tunjukkan muka anda. Korang tak share uh, background dekat Dr. Farid ke? Ada dekat chat tu sekejap. How many people in the large gallery? Berapa ramai tu boleh view eh large gallery ni? Rasa 49 ke 100 ni? Eh, 100 banyak ya. Boleh ya? 49 tu ya. Ni pun tak sampai 49 ni. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Baru 25. Teams dia tak ada page 1, page 2 eh. Macam zoom. Tak ada. Oh ni ah, dia sampai cepat. cepat. Siapa cepat dia masuk lah macam tu. Itulah 49 je. 49. So far ada berapa banyak? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Baru dalam bab 30 lebih kot ni. Okay ada lagi nak masuk. Anyone to join us? No one. Okay. Uh, so are we ready now? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh, technical. Uh, are you ready, technical? Okay. So we are ready now. Technical can start the photo shoot now. Okay. So for the first and second photo, we will uh, use the formal one. Okay. So ready? Okay. One, two, and three. Okay. Uh, next photo. Okay. One, two, and three. If you start. Okay, last photo, the informal one, okay, satu, dua dan tiga. Okay, good. Good luck. Okay. Okay. Okay, everyone, thank you for the cooperation.
Okay, all the best more. Deal all respected participants. Okay, the the habilitation for this week. Okay. Okay, dear all respected participants, we are warmly honored to welcome your participants in the hackathon competition which will be held on 20th of June 2021. There are lucrative prizes to be won and each certificate also will be provided. For your information, the first place winner of hackathon competition will win will win RM twenty 120 cash, second place winner will win 100 ringgit and third place will winner will win 80 ringgit for the registration. You can visit other creative Usim Instagram account for further information and details. Now we are we have finally at the end of our program. Hopefully everyone enjoys and learn a lot of things from our program today. Moreover, we hope that you will find this program beneficial in your study and future career. Before we end this workshop, I would like to show a lot of gratitude for your contribution and partici participation in today's program. Last but not least, on behalf of Autocratic Properties, we want to apologize for any inaccuracies throughout managing this Hakata workshop. Let's close our program with Tasbih Kafara and Surah al -As. Okay, thank you and good luck semua. Thanks for inviting me. That's so, all from. That's all from. Committee, please promote lah. Rugi ya kalau tak masuk kan. Okay, doctor. Thank you, doctor.